Ford vehicles from 1984 through 1994 have a self-diagnostic system that will go through all of the car or truck's various electronic sensors and tell the driver what's wrong with the car, if anything. This procedure is called the key on engine running test and what happens is when you start the car it will automatically check all of the electronic systems in the car and report back to you if anything is wrong with the car. To perform the test you need an unrolled paper clip, a pen, and a piece of paper clipboard optional. To prepare for the key on engine running test you need to first warm up the vehicle to operating temperature so start it and let it run for five or ten minutes. Next you need to locate the diagnostic port in the car. It's usually against the firewall either on the passenger or driver's side. On mine it looks like this has a plastic cover over it that says EEC test. Take the cover off to expose two plugs. These are the two plugs that you need to insert your paper clip into. The first step after you've located the diagnostic plug under the hood is to start the car and warm it to operating temperature, which I've already done here. I'm at the middle range of normal for my car. It's been running about 10 minutes. So I'll turn the key off and move over to the diagnostic plug. And at this point, we need to plug in our paper clip. Plug one end of the paper clip into the upper right connector. You can see there's four holes down here and two on the top. It's the right one here on the top. So we plug in that. A piece of wire will work too. And after you've plugged this one in to this connector, you need to plug the other end of the paper clip into this singular gray connector. So your configuration should look like this. Next, immediately start the car again because it's important that the engine be warm for this test. Also have your pen and paper handy when you do this. So we'll start the car again and we're going to focus on the check engine light because this is going to be a window into the car's soul. It flashed three times. That indicates that it's a six cylinder engine. Whatever the number of flashes are indicates the cylinders. So right now it's going through its self-diagnostic procedure. We're going to wait until we see a singular flash of the check engine light. So as you can tell, the engine is kind of running poorly. The RPMs are rising and falling. It's going through all of its motions to test the sensors and electronic systems and try to determine if everything's out of whack. That flash means we need to turn right, left, step on the brake, and push the throttle. That's called the goose test. Nine flashes and one flash. So we'll write nine and one three flashes and another three flashes. I'll tell you how to interpret these later.
nine flashes, one flash. Three flashes. Three flashes. No more flashes, so that means that it's done its self diagnosis. And the flashes were as followed I saw nine flashes, then I saw one flash. And I saw three flashes, then another three flashes, nine flashes, and a flash, three flashes, and another three flashes. These are diagnostic trouble codes that the check engine light was telling us. Depending on the year of your car, you'll either have two, two digit codes or three digit codes. 1986 through 19. 91 were two digit codes. My car is a 1990. 1992 through 94 are three digit codes, but they would be displayed in the same manner. The organization of the codes is that it goes through the codes twice. So what I have here is a code 91 and a code 33. And then it repeated the sequence. Code 91, code 33. These are problems with my car that the computer was just telling me about. In order to figure out what they are, I need to go onto the computer, my desktop computer, not the car's engine computer, and Google these codes and it'll tell me what they are, and we'll do that in a moment. So, I'll do the procedure one more time, just so um, you have a better understanding of it turn off the car and this is the same situation after you've warmed up your car insert the jumper wire start it again watch for the three flashes or four flashes if it's an eight cylinder engine you double the number of flashes in the first sequence and that indicates the cylinders of the car so we saw our first three flashes and it's going to go through its motions again and then we're going to wait for the singular flash which indicates the wide open throttle test when you see that flash just turn the wheel right left press the brake and then floor the car just for a moment just to get the RPMs up that tests the high throttle opening systems Flash. Left, right, brake pedal. Now if I did it right, it'll start telling me the codes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, one. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, pair of threes. We're not playing poker. So there's the nine and it should be another one after this because it, it repeats the sequence twice. So there's the 91. This should be the 33. And there it is. So that's how you do the key on engine running test. I'll go into the office and figure out what these particular codes mean. But it's a pretty handy system. It doesn't require a scanner or anything. But it allows you to see what's going on with your engine with just a jumper wire or paper clip. I've done some research on the internet and found that the code 91 means that my front or left oxygen sensor is lean. That means I have a lean condition and that 
side of the engine. Front, if it's a if it's a front wheel drive car with the engine mounted transversely, that would be the front bank of cylinders. In a longitudinally mounted engine, it would be the left bank of cylinders. That's why I put front or left. So 91, that's a trouble with the oxygen sensor. And code 33 is trouble with the EGR valve not opening. So I will have to address those issues in my car, but as you can see, this testing procedure um, points you in the right direction if you have engine troubles. Thanks for watching.